Now 4.30 on WKYT this morning, a judge orders the Rowan County clerk to issue marriage licenses to all couples, but the legal battle appears far from over. A disturbing discovery along the Kentucky River in Jessamine County. What investigators say they found that has them now asking questions. And a well-known Central Kentucky store could be closed for months because of a fire. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. It's Thursday, August 13th, and we welcome you to WKYT This Morning. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Lots of people stayed up to watch the meteor shower overnight. As I was coming into work, I saw a man looking up in the sky <laughs> in his yard. Trying to see something, yeah. right? Eyewitness viewer uh, Rebecca, not this Rebecca. Another. No, I didn't see it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and in this photo from Berea overnight, beautiful scene there. Uh, check out the meteor dashing across the sky on the right side of the photo. And let's check in with meteorologist Micah Harris, uh, wondering if he stayed up to watch that meteor shower. Shower. I didn't. I didn't. But as I was coming in before I got in the truck, I just kind of stood out there for a minute and I didn't see not a one. I never get lucky enough to actually see them. Live sky camera, there's your shot. Don't forget, you still have time. I mean, it goes until the sun rises. So you should be able to see at least one if you sit out there for a while. Uh, there's your look outside. We're in the 50s, and I'm telling you this this is the perfect morning for it. Clear skies, temperatures there in the 50s. That is a really nice start for this time of year. 82 degrees as you slide into the afternoon. Still very pleasant. And I'll show you how long that lasts coming up in a few minutes. Okay, we'll see you then. And we thank you. And in the news, the case had been debated for weeks. But yesterday afternoon, a federal judge ordered the Rowan County clerk to perform her assigned duties and issue marriage licenses to all couples. Kim Davis said that her religious beliefs would not allow her to issue the licenses after the U.S. Supreme Court legalized same sex marriage nationwide. So the AC CLU sued on behalf of four Rowan County couples. U.S. District Judge David Bunning said Davis is free to believe whatever she wants, but quote, her religious convictions cannot excuse her from performing the duties that she took an oath to perform as Rowan County clerk. His injunction forces her to issue marriage licenses while the court case continues. WKYT's Monique Blair talked with some of those couples who sued and Davis's attorney. I had the excitement and joy, the same kind of happiness that I had on the day that we got the Supreme Court ruling. April Miller and her longtime partner, Karen Roberts, along with three of the other plaintiffs in the case, sat down with me Wednesday night, just hours after the ruling came down. But their excitement didn't last long. Then we heard it was appealed, and it was like, oh, shoot. Kim Davis's attorney, Roger Gannam, also told me his opinion of the ruling. We disagree with the ruling. We have already filed our notice of appeal to take the case up to the Sixth Circuit. Three of the four couples who are suing Davis tell me they will be here at her office bright and early Thursday morning trying to get the marriage licenses they've wanted to get now for several weeks. I don't expect her to do it, but um, we have to try. All I can say for sure is that we will seek a stay of the ruling uh, as soon as possible. Um, beyond that, I, I cannot say uh, what may or may not happen tomorrow. Ganim says no one has the constitutional right to require any particular person to issue them a marriage license. The Supreme Court case said that states must recognize same-sex marriage on the same terms as different sex marriage, but it didn't say that uh, every government official uh, must issue marriage licenses despite their sincerely held religious beliefs. But the plaintiffs, two same-sex, two opposite-sex couples, say they just want the same civil rights as Davis. She is, has all her rights, and she can believe what she wants and practice her religion. She has 100% of her rights, whereas she, we don't. In Rowan County, Monique Blair, WKYT. Thanks, Monique. In his order, Judge Bunning also said by denying marriage licenses for religious reasons, Davis, quote, likely violated the constitutional rights of her constituents. This morning, police have found the second suspect in the murder of a Clay County father. Roscoe Henson was arrested last night. He is charged with the murder of Trevor Dykes. Police say Dykes was fatally shot back in July while he was leaving for work. His body was found outside his home near Goose Rock Elementary School. On Tuesday night, police arrested Thomas Miracle and charged him with solic solicitation to commit murder. Police have not said where they found Henson last night.
We're tracking a mystery this morning in Jessamine County. Investigators say they found what appears to be a body part. But at this point, they're not even sure if it's human. Someone found it yesterday afternoon on the banks of the Kentucky River near High Bridge. Our Garrett Weimer has the latest on the investigation of that. Richard Bryant and Kelly Brumfield says they found more than they bargained for when they hiked here along the Kentucky River. I just followed the smell. And I just swear, I swear it was. It was just laying on the log. <laughs> I just seen something laying there and it looked like a hand. I don't know if it was like an animal or a real hand. And he was like, no, nah, that looks like human. They thought it was a human hand. From here to right about here, you'll see it would look like it didn't find like a woman because they had acrylic nails. It was all just bone though. Yeah, it was just bone and just like the flesh was like half of this. The coroner is not so sure. That's difficult for us right now. I can't really say with any certainty whether that's human or not. The coroner says the medical examiner will now have to take a look at that body part to figure out if it is indeed from a human body. Coroner Michael Hughes says it was found near several small bones that appear to be from an animal. Whatever it is, he says he thinks it's been rotting there for at least a month. The tissue is so decomposed, uh, it's almost leather uh, like, and human flesh does the same thing when it decomposes. There's very, very little connective tissue to hold the articulating joints, the hands, the fingers, or claws, whatever they are. For the folks who found it, if it does turn out to be a human hand... I ain't gonna go hike down here no more. That'd be a no. A no. <laughs> In Jessamine County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. And the coroner says he does not believe that this discovery is linked to the search on the river in Fayette County on Monday. Well, this morning we're continuing to track a crash that killed a driver and injured two other people in Garrett County. The Garrett County coroner identifies the victim as 65 year old Sharon Collins of Nicholasville. Police say she was driving an SUV that hit a tractor trailer on US 27 north of Lancaster yesterday afternoon. Investigators say Collins died at the scene. Two other people in the SUV were airlifted to a UK hospital. Police think the SUV ran a red light before the crash. Now 437 on WKYT this morning. An intersection in downtown Frankfurt is still closed this morning because of a sinkhole. Emergency managers say it opened up yesterday afternoon at the intersection of Shelby Street and 4th Street. That's not far from Frankfurt High School. They say the hole is about two feet by two feet at the surface, but it's actually much larger underneath the pavement. Emergency managers say water and sewer lines run through the sinkhole area, and that is making repairs more difficult. Uh, we're looking into the sewer line that's underneath there, you know, until we actually get into it. I, there are no exacts in this right now. The intersection is expected to be closed through at least this afternoon. Buses headed to Frankfurt High School today will be dropping off students by using Steel Street, which is behind the school. This morning, it appears that a statue of Confederate President Jefferson Davis will be an issue during the next legislative session. According to our news partners at the Herald Leader, House Speaker Greg Stumbo says he will file legislation during the 2016 General Assembly calling for the statue to be removed from the state capitol rotunda. Stumbo says it's, quote, inappropriate for the statue to be there. He wants it in the Kentucky History Center instead. Davis was born in Kentucky. Last week, the State Historic Properties Advisory Commission voted to keep the statue in the Capitol, but add educational context to it. This comes as the city of Lexington discusses what should happen to some statues of Confederate officers. Mayor Jim Gray asked the Urban County Arts Review Board to look at the placement and presentation of the John Hunt Morgan and John C. Breckinridge statues outside the old courthouse. That's along with a historic marker about slavery in Cheapside Park. During a meeting yesterday afternoon, the mayor took questions from board members. You know, Lexington's a city that's uh, committed to respect and diversity and inclusion. So it's the right thing to do for us to examine these symbols and see the extent to which they really represent our shared values. A public meeting about the statues will be held on August 24th in council chambers. The mayor says he expects a report from the board by the end of September. Well, this morning, the well-known Jessamine County business owner says that he is facing a lot of repairs because of a fire. The fire started early Sunday morning at the boot store on US 27 in Nicholasville. The owner says firefighters think a neon sign on the outside of the building had a short, and that's what started the fire. Parts of the building and much of the merchandise were damaged, but the owner says the community has been very supportive. I've had lots of calls, texts, you know, people showing up, you know, wanting to know if they could help. 
And, uh, you know, a lot of people told me I've been in their prayers, and uh, that's much appreciated. The owner says the boot store will probably be closed for the next few months while the building is repaired and the merchandise is restocked. It's very well known. You drive through there, you can't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, 440 is the time, 20 before 5. And WKYT this morning is just getting started. Well, now that school started back, it's time to discuss classroom etiquette. After the break, we'll go over if your child should be allowed to bring a smartphone to school. And we're looking outside, seeing another clear morning in store. Beautiful weather continues. I'll get right into that weekend forecast coming up.